Welcome back to This Week in Video Games. It's Tuesday, the 5th of October, 2021. That means it's weekly reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we've got a chance for new content to be added into the game. But if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, let's check out the weekly reset items for the week. In terms of new content this week, we got the weekly story and it's week 7, so it's the Wayfinder's Void 7. And this is going to be the final parts of the Wayfinder's Void quest. So this is going to set up a mission called Exorcism, and that is where we try to save Osiris and also break Savathun free from a worm. Although this quest is likely to drop later on in the season as we lead up to the Witch Queen. Also available today are Grandmaster Nightfalls. They are back. You do need to be 1345 to enter. So we've got the Hallowed Lair, Lake of Shadows, Exodus Crash, the Corrupted, Devil's Lair, and also the Proving Grounds. I think the Exodus Crash is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. But the Hallowed Lair is a new one, and I think the other ones are going to be very tough, probably except for the Lake of Shadows. We're talking about Nightfalls. So this week for the Nightfall, we've got the Hallowed Lair, and the weapons are going to be the Uzume R4, that is a sniper, and the Plug 1. That one is a decent fusion rifle. So it's not here right now, but Trials of Osiris is back this week. It is going to return to its regular elimination mode. So after the hiatus of Iron Banner last week, and then the experimenting with Trials Labs capture zone, that was a couple of weeks ago. So Trials is back this week, and it returns to regular elimination. I'm going to be jumping in, so hopefully see you there. Let's check out the seasonal activities with Season of the Lost. So for the weekly story, week 7, we're going to be doing some astral alignment and going back into the Shattered Realm. And I'll bring you all the latest story developments a little bit later on. But it's also week 7, and we've got some new seasonal challenges this week. So we've got the Wayfinder's Void 7. You have to do the regular quest and also get some shotgun kills. We've got the Umbral Maven. You've got to focus Tier 3 Umbral Engrams and the prismatic recast it in the helm. We got the efficient ley liner to complete the alignment activity in under 10 minutes. We got freezer burn, so defeat combatants with stasis abilities, solar abilities, or shattered damage. So combatants defeated with solar or stasis melee attacks award bonus progress. Then we got the cadre of contenders, so complete crucible matches in the glory rank playlist. And you earn bonus progress for wins. And then we got Bring a Fusion Sword to defeat targets with fusion rifles and swords in Gambit. Defeating Guardians grants additional progress. And finally, we got the Conquest of the Mighty to complete any Nightfall Strike on Grandmaster. And that is to welcome the GMs back. Also, the Vault of Glass has been reset once again, so if you haven't got that Vex Mythoclast, well now you've got three opportunities to do it this week. And also we've got a new Raid Challenge as well, so this is the only Oracle for you. We have to destroy one oracle each per team. You have to rotate your team members and make sure one person doesn't destroy two oracles. And you will get a time loss weapon if you do it on the master mode. And this week, it's Praedith's Revenge. Let's check out the Beyond Light reset items for the week over on Europa. And the Empire Hunt this week is the Warrior. Simulation this week is Agility. Also, looks like we have the Master Lost Sector, and that is on Concealed Void. And the Legend Lost Sector 2, that is Bunker E15. I think that is one of my favourite Lost Sectors to do, and it looks like you get the exotic leg armour there too. So, if you're a hunter, you can get the new Radiant Dance Machines if you jump in there, so I definitely would recommend that. For the Clip Zone, this week is in Asterian Abyss, and the Deepstone Crypt Raid has been reset once again. This week's challenge is of all trades. Let's check out the playlists and the pinnacles for the week, starting off with the Vanguard. So the Nightfall this week is the Hallowed Lair, and as I mentioned before, you get the Uzume RR4 or the Plug 1 to drop. You've also got that weekly challenge as well, so move that progress bar up to 100%, you get a powerful tier 1 drop, and if you complete 100k Nightfall, you will get a pinnacle drop. Grandmaster Nightfalls are back, as I mentioned earlier before. And also in the strike playlist this week, put on a solar subclass, do three strikes, and you will get a powerful tier one drop. 
Got some good weapons in the strike playlist. Got the third Axiom, Pulse Rifle. You've got the Royal Entry, a rocket launcher, the empty vessel, that is a grenade launcher, and the new one, that is punching out. And that one is a sidearm. Let's head on over to Crucible for the week and check out and see what is going on. So the rotating playlist this week is Mayhem. If you do three matches of Crucible, you will get a pinnacle drop. We've got some good weapons. We've got the Keening. That one's a sidearm. We've got the Frozen Orbit. That's a sniper. We've got the Survivor's Epitaph. That is a hand cannon. And we also have the Sorrow's Verse. That's the new one. That is an auto rifle. We're checking out Gambit for the week. So do three matches and you will get a pinnacle drop. And the weapons are the Bottom Dollar. That's a hand cannon. The Trinary System. Fusion Rifle, Borrowed Time, that is a submachine gun. And finally, the new one, and a good one, is Servant Leader. Let's check out the Tower and the Tower Vendors for the week. We could do 8 bounties and get a powerful tier 1 drop and some Bright Dust. We're doing various activities for these vendors. So we've got the Drifter. We've got Banshee44, the Gunsmith. Lord Shax for Crucible. And also Zavala 2. While I'm here, don't forget about the Prophecy Dungeon, dropping up-to-date Trials of the Nine loot. Really good piece of content, that one. So if you haven't done it for a while, I would recommend jumping back in. Beautiful sunset over the tower this evening. Let's head on over to Banshee44 and see what weapons he's got for us today. Well, this week he's got the Cold Denial, that is Feeding Frenzy and Unrelenting. We've got the Toil and Trouble, that one comes with Field Prep and Snapshot Sights. We've got the Iclos Sniper, that one comes with No Distractions and Disruption Break. And we've got the Last Dance, that's Quick Draw and Opening Shot. We've got Temptation's Hook, that one comes with Enduring Guard, Energy Transfer and Surrounded. And finally we've got Bad Omens, that comes with Field Prep and also Kill Clip. Nothing really jumps out at me today, but let me know down in the comments if you're picking up any of these weapons. Right, we are here in the tower. Let's head on over to Tess and see what is in the Eververse store today. We've got the bruised blush. Oh my god. My eyes. We've got signal processed. Oh, I quite like that one. We've got the Wanderer's Wings. I like it. That is a tidy ship. We've got the Cat Ear Dance. Look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna get it. Okay, let's have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items. We've got Penguin Projection. Is a classic from Beyond Light. We've got an ornament for Telesto. The buggiest gun in the whole game. I like it, that's looking really nice. We've got Be Sneaky. We've got the Namin Plate. Oh, yes. I like that, that's very nice. We get that one. We've got the Pragmat Powerhouse. Oh my goodness, that is ugly. We've got the Dreamer's Shell. That is lovely. I like that. And then we got Protecting Teammates. Nice. We also have Up in Smoke. We've got Vex Invasion Effects. And we also have Traveller Wake Effects too. Check out these shaders. I don't have these. So Boreal Char. Not bad, not bad. Bisnian Gold. Very nice. An Amethyst Bloom. No, that is a no from me. 
But that is it for the weekly reset information this week on the 5th of October 2021. So loads to get into this week. But I think the main point of interest for me is probably the story. But you've also got Grandmaster Nightforce. So loads of challenging PvE content has been opened up. And of course, we have the return of Trials of Osiris on Friday. So I will be looking forward to that. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. And for more Destiny 2 content like this, like, subscribe and share with a friend. To join our community, check out the Discord link in the description. You can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.